Luke Skywalker is having some baby mama drama. Hi, I'm Missy Stone with Students for Life, and this is your Pro-Life Gen News for Monday, September 12th. Let's get started. So we all know that Planned Parenthood is obsessed with abortions, but what a lot of people don't know is that they've been caught covering up sexual abuse of minors multiple times. Medical professionals are told to be suspicious if a child under 14 becomes pregnant or contracts an STD. But staff at Planned Parenthood of the Rocky Mountains didn't agree. One later admitted being 13 and pregnant alone is not a red flag to them. So no report was filed when Timothy Smith came in with his 13-year-old stepdaughter to have an abortion, even though he is the father. They also didn't ask Edgar Ramirez any questions, despite having done two abortions on his 13-year-old daughter in less than six months. Well, I just, oh, this, just make, this story makes me so mad. I can't. Ugh. They even gave her an IUD, making sure that the abuse could continue without the risk of pregnancy. Planned Parenthood wasn't worried about Gary Cross's victim either. Cross took his 13-year-old stepdaughter to Planned Parenthood when her mother noticed she had gained weight. Even though she was well below the age of consent, no one contacted authorities. Instead, they set up a late-term abortion, after which Cross went right back to abusing her. Planned Parenthood is not providing women's health care. They are destroying people's lives. Mark Hamill, who is most known for his role as Luke Skywalker, is having some baby mama drama. Megan Chen is suing to establish that Mark's son is the father and to collect child support. Megan said that Mark Hamill's family told her to have an abortion. She's claiming Mark Hamill told her she shouldn't bring a child into the world that nobody wants. Mark Hamill has obviously joined the dark side. Newman University, a Catholic school in Wichita, canceled a scheduled talk with Kansas Supreme Court Justice Carol Byer. But it's not for the reasons that you would think. The Catholic University doesn't care that she notoriously supports abortion, but instead was concerned because some people were mean on social media. So those are all the things that caught her eye today. I'm Missy Stone with Students for Life. If you like what you saw, be sure to give it a share. Follow us on all of our social media channels, and if you have any questions, go to studentsforlife.org.